Hello everyone, welcome to QPB bi-weekly meeting. Uh, today I will discuss uh, about the progress we have made so far in last two weeks. Uh, also, some interesting news. Um, so, we are planning to cut a release uh, this, uh, uh, this week, and that means uh, tomorrow, within tomorrow, uh, without any update in documentation. We will try to add the, at least we will try to input the examples of uh, YMLs uh, so that the user can try the YMLs with valid YMLs, but they, the docs are, they will be a little bit backdated. So, um, uh, so let's uh, see the, our last progress in last two weeks. Uh, we fixed a couple of uh, uh, issues. Uh, we implemented the, and where is that? We implemented the, the direct uh, deletion uh, option in CRDs. Now, user will be able to delete it, delete it uh, without creating the domain database. Uh, it was, uh, it, we started working on this on the previous, previous day, pre, uh, uh, previous of our last meeting, but we finished in, in last week. Uh, right now, it is all working so far. And after that, we also, uh, install, we also yeah, added on feature that you uh, keep the will not process the backdated deprecated versions so right now the the cli the uh, sorry database versions will have a uh, uh, field on their crds and that is called deprecated and if deprecated is true keep will will um, stop processing that uh, that that object so uh, if I let me show you. So previous uh, our previous version that is five point six, and uh, right now uh, we will only support five point six version one because uh, our operator uh, something in uh, our operator has changed. Uh, now it uh, uses Elasticsearch exporter as their default uh, exporter image and uh, other changes in Elasticsearch tools. So we have decided to uh, add a uh, prefix suffix with the uh, versions, and it will uh, it will uh, create problem uh, while uh, we use uh, this uh, this exporter and zero with zero point nine point zero zero point nine point zero operator. So user, uh, we won't create delay anything or we won't cause uh, cause any problem to user side. So we'll just uh, skip processing the 5.6 and we'll give on warning in the event that user have to update it to 5.6 dash version 1 to uh, to get the uh, required changes. Uh, it won't, uh, hopefully it won't break anything um, because the versions are same at the back side and the back end. Just some exporter uh, change, uh, exporter things change and some tools change and that would create any problems we hope we test it actually but we need to test further before the cut the actual release so it's just a better version and we were, we are planning to release it within um, next day that means to a in the night time so uh, another problem we fixed is wipeout behavior of postgres and uh, right now wipeout is only available for um, no, wipeout is not working for all the data we were keeping all the data intact uh, but uh, um, some users want to delete that as well on wipeout is given so we have taken a step ahead and we are also wiping out the data of all the from cloud storage And another uh, problem was the the host path backend was not working properly with uh, 0.8.0 release, and we have fixed that also. Uh, and it has added uh, in all the DBs. Uh, and uh, we 
are uh, updated or are close to OSM 0.8, 0.8.0, and it supports the fix of uh, our previous problem. So, It, it has marked all the elastic, all the tools, uh, and it also used in uh, etcd. We are releasing etcd only in beta, uh, only in alpha version. Uh, there won't be any document uh, in this in this release. So it is uh, a user's side to try it uh, on their own risk. Uh, it I won't say risk. It, it, it's working. It is working with. Uh, with it's working properly just there is no uh, testing so far we need to add that and we were planning to you know, test it before uh, before, before uh, moving it to beta uh, so it's now in alpha free alpha version uh, but user will be able to use it and the dog part uh, Imbus is working on Postgres version. After the Postgres version is done, uh, I and me and Imbus will both will work on to copy that to other Docker database as well. Only the common parts, uh, but some say all many of the databases are their contains different uh, content contains different elements, and just like Elasticsearch, it not all it has contains lots of changes uh, with Postgres as well and other databases so let's see how many times it will take and our uh, documents are for each database is not uh, is small at, at all so it may take some time so that's why we're trying to uh, cut every beta version release without any document and oh, yeah, our users also said that they are they want a release before any on a better release without any document part so we are planning to give it let's see how course is going, course is going to happen uh any other changes not so much that's the whole thing we worked in the last two weeks we fixed some of our uh, etui testing uh, we were not closing tunnels in etui test uh, but now we are closing it just with it just with the fix and one thing we need to one thing we're planning to improve is uh, developer guide right now the developer guide is not so good uh, every uh, the users also says it uh, it is actually backdated uh, well, uh, we have um, improved the development process. Uh, it now uses the. It is, it is very easy to deploy it in uh, in deploy and develop with it. Uh, so we just have to uh, write some um, some documents so that the user will be able to uh, get it right. So. This works actually, this works, but uh, things are more easier now. Uh, some couple of um, command line will just deploy the images and it will run the test for user. Uh, we have also, we need to add a, a doc for to doc so that user will be able to add their own test after adding their own feature to a database uh, actually adding a feature into a database is quite uh, problematic now because it just uh, uh, won't fix to one database he needs to add it to all the others and we keep uh, uh, all the other repos separates so we have to uh, collaborate for collaborate um, with user uh, and that's okay that's not a problem um, and we are getting lots of uh, uh, features uh, request recently but we are just uh, running slow hopefully we'll be able to add as
as many as we can we are as many we can after releasing 0.9.0 that's the update I have so far. Uh, in rules, uh, do you want to add anything how far you are on the document part? If you are okay to say. Sure. Uh, till now I have the, uh, I have updated uh, work on some for this documentation. Uh, I have uh, done some basic part, version and, and updated concept guide. Uh, currently fixing uh, initialization guide. Uh, maybe uh, two more days uh, I have to work on Postgres guide, then uh, I think I'll be able to work on other databases. Is, uh, there are lots of things to do in documentation, but uh, actually we are uh, uh, low in number so we can give uh, much time on the condition uh, we'll try to update them literally okay uh, that's I'm all good. for now yeah you are doing very good uh, I, I see your peer uh, that's a very good work keep it up bro okay that's all, all from us uh, if anyone has any question uh, definitely no one because we all three are of our developers here so see you guys in next meeting hopefully thank you uh, i'm stopping the record